So this is just a quick rundown of the profile manager and the folder structure needed in order to use it. So we can see here on my desktop that I have profile manager.exe, um, my profiles folder, the profiles config because I've ran this before, and a log file that was generated by the application. So we'll just delete these two and I'll walk through the process. So we double click the program. First we locate our profiles directory, which for me is on my desktop. And as you can see inside this directory, I have two folders, Bill, who has his game saves folder, and Ray, who has his. So I'll just select the profiles folder. Then you select your Witcher 3 directory and the executable. And then finally you select the profile um, that you would like to load. So the way this works is every folder underneath your profile directory is considered a profile. And so Bill has his game saves, his input and user settings. And Bill only has one save. And if you look at Ray, you have input, user, and back. This back file is completely unnecessary, as are these two files. As of build 1.06, you won't get any warning about them, and if they don't exist, they just won't be copied. So this allows you to have global setting files if you don't need to customize them between users. And then, as you can see, Ray has multiple saves. And so now if we go to our Witcher 3 directory, you see that this is the default structure for the Witcher 3 directory. You can put your profiles folder inside this window. Um, however, the backup folder that is generated by the profile manager should have none of your files in it, um, except for the backup files that were generated. So I'll run this really quick. We'll run Bill. Um, we'll see that these are the backed up saves. And if we load it up, you see that Bill's single save file is in here. And I have a slight bug that causes Witcher 3 to not close on my operating system. And that's regardless of whether or not I launch it with Profile Manager. So if we click Array, you now see all of my save files in there. And so that's just a real simple rundown. The most important thing is that your profiles folder has this structure. Um, and again, the same bug. Uh, so you'll also see that this profiles config file is generated. This is an important file because it says which profile you opened previously and it stores the path to both the executable and your profiles folder. And this is purely for users with issues. If you open this, you'll see a large number of messages regarding which was copied and which wasn't, and whether or not the Witcher 3 launched correctly.